The year was 1975 and the place was Amdo in northeastern Tibet. It was here in a small village that Tulku Lama Lobzang was born. There was nothing unusual about his birth though his family was quite accustomed to having Rinpoches or incarnations being born in their midst. When he was six, his family sent him to the local monastic school. Here, he began amazing his teachers with his acute memory and capacity to recall even the minute details. At the age of 13, having laid for himself a foundation of Buddhist learning, he was sent to the Nangzi Monastery, one of the largest born monasteries in Tibet. Here, Lobzang discovered his true calling, Tibetan medicine. Met by his uncle, Lobzang was soon indoctrinated into the traditions and teachings of the Buddhist masters. At the age of 13, at a colorful ceremony, Lama Lobzang was enthroned as the eighth incarnation of Tulku Nyansi. As the years passed, Tulku Lama Lobzang felt the need for more learning. To pursue his calling, he left for the Labran Monastery. Here, introduced to the secrets and intricacies of Sutra, medicine and astrology, he was given special attention and taught by renowned scholars of astrology and medicine. Finally, in 1992, Tulku Lama bid farewell to his beloved Tibet and accompanied by his mother, travelled to the famous Garden Monastery in the southern Indian state of Karnataka. It was here that Tulku Lama Lobzang accomplished his objective of higher learning. Soon, having accomplished his mission of learning the finer details of Tibetan medicine, Tulku Lama Lobzang now set his eyes on Dharamsala. Dharamsala was the place where he could use his knowledge for the betterment of his fellow men. It was during these days of contemplation and introspection that Lobzang Lama's mind began thinking of an institute with all the facilities and the proper environment. It was then that he thought of the Rangtan Menlang Buddhist Medical Center. The main aim of the Menlang Buddhist Medical Center was to preserve the ancient science of Tibetan medicine by teaching it to students from all over the world. It was now time for him to leave the shores of India and begin sharing his message and giving talks on the efficacy of this ancient yet very relevant system of medicine. Tulku Lama Lobzang found that he could also spread the knowledge of Tibetan medicine to a wider segment by getting his books translated into different languages. As Tulku Lama Lobzang continues to travel and teach this amazingly accurate medical science, more and more people are realizing the benefits of this system in a world full of stress, tension and unhappiness. Tibetan medicine is changing the way people look at medicine and cures. This amazing alternative system is finally gaining in popularity and is transforming lives and helping cure many of the newer diseases that are emerging in the world of today.